Howdy! You're watching The Headless Chef on Channel 19. Today we're making uh, two different meals at the same time. Get a little cooking efficiency here. We have dinner for tonight. It's asparagus. These still need to be cooked. Sorry about that juice there. <laughs> These still need to be cooked. And then we're going to have salmon as well. The asparagus is from Costco, as well as the salmon is from Costco too. Really good if you haven't had that yet. And then we're also making oatmeal at the same time here. So I'm making three servings of oatmeal for the week. Um, might even last me longer than a week. <laughs> so I'm boiling this water and then when this is at a boil, I'm going to add one and a half cups of oatmeal. This is the old fashioned oats, uh, market pantry. So I'm not sure what this is. I think it might be a Target brand. But, you know, any old oatmeal will do. I'm going to get the old-fashioned oats. Steel-cut oats are really good, too. Better than instant oatmeal. Instant oatmeal is uh, usually has that extra flavoring and stuff. This is better for your blood sugar and stuff, the old-fashioned or the steel-cut. All righty. We also have this pan over here heating up pretty, pretty warm already. Um, I'm going to take it off of here for a second because it's probably too warm. And we're going to cook our asparagus on kind of higher heat so it won't take too long to cook. Let this cool off for a minute. So we're going to add our one and a half cups of oatmeal to this boiling water. Drum roll please. Alright, let's put the other half cup in there. Let's turn a little music on for a little ambiance, shall we? <laughs> All righty then. PG-13 lyrics over here with Prince. Cover your ears, earmuffs. Um, yeah, so this looks pretty good. We're going to start our asparagus on this side. We're going to use avocado oil to cook the asparagus. There goes the asparagus, putting this in the pan over here. Kind of looks cooked already, huh? From what I've heard, you're supposed to cook the asparagus kind of on higher heat. So we're just going to leave this in here. This should cook up pretty easily. It's, it's already thawed out. Oh, 
Oh, by the way, if you can name that tune, add it in the comments below. You might get some points or something. Who knows? Okay, now that we got the oats going here, we're going to turn down the heat. Get the asparagus moving around here. Yeah, today, um, this morning, I got up really early. I had about a 5 a.m. breakfast. And I was going to do a test and go run after breakfast at the local park. And um, it was still dark out, so I laid down for a few minutes and totally conked out. <laughs> so um, I didn't make it over to the park until probably about noon when I was pretty warm already. So I was running... Uh, in uh, it was like 85 to 90 degrees during the time I was out there so tomorrow I hope to get out there a little earlier to uh, beat the heat maybe get down to 72 degrees instead of 85 or 90 Yeah, so the asparagus are looking good. They're nice and green. They're pretty uniform in size. Um, seem to be cooking up well here. We could grab one and go for a little taste test here and see how they feel. Hey, it's pretty good already. I think the asparagus might be done. Yeah, they're done already. I'm going to turn that heat off. Put some sea salt here in the uh, in the asparagus. If you have a whole bunch of asparagus, do you call them asparagi or asparagus? Asparagi. I'm gonna take this off here. Actually, what I'll do is go like this. Just put them back on this plate. I think the oatmeal is about done too. I'm just going to turn that off and let that sit. So I'm just going to put these on this plate. Hey, we got a couple pieces of a couple pieces of oatmeal from the stir stick on here. Give us a little. Uh, Kind of a little hors d'oeuvre on the side. Looks pretty nice, huh? So now we're going to use the same pan. For the salmon. Put this lid over the asparagus to keep it nice and warm. So 
There's our salmon. So tonight we actually had a plan of what we were going to prepare. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know sometimes we don't actually have a plan. We just start making stuff. <laughs> or we have an idea and then we kind of go in that direction and just sort of work it out as we go. Oh, by the way, in one of my other videos, I referenced a mystery ingredient. It was in a green package, and I sort of teased you by going like this. And I said I was going to save it for a future video. I might as well just reveal it right now. This is organic seaweed. It's sort of like... Uh, paper thin you just eat it like a little sort of like a chip but it's really it's thinner than a chip and they're actually pretty tasty these are a Costco item as well Kirkland brand So they come in this little tray, like so. And you can just pull a slice out of here. And they kind of melt in your mouth. Pretty nice flavor. You know, when you're sitting down and watching TV, you could eat this whole thing. It's probably like 25 slices or something. Watching the Headless Chef on Channel 19. Today we're making salmon and asparagus. And we're also making some oatmeal on the side for separate meals. And we also have this appetizer here. Seaweed. Organic roasted seaweed snack. So five servings per pack. So it's 100 calories in this container here. And it seems like it's... Um, a little bit of fat, one and a half, one and a half grams of fat, one gram of protein, and no carbs. So it's a uh, low calorie. Like you could eat this whole container one bite at a time, or you can have one scoop of olive oil for 120 calories. I'll put this on a little bit lower heat. What I'm going to do is save uh, some of this asparagus for, for later. I'll put it in here.
Alrighty, the oatmeal is looking good. It's done. It's just over here kind of simmering. Steam coming up. Looking good. So yeah. I'm going to add some salt to that while it's nice and warm. Let it absorb in there. And then uh, this would be my carbos for running this week. Do a little carbo loading. Looks like the salmon's about done here. Might be a little raw in the middle, that's fine with me. So yeah, looking pretty good. I'm gonna have a few more appetizers things here before I have my official meal. Continuing on with Name That Tune, here comes the next song. So yeah, I'm sure you've seen oatmeal before. But this is kind of has the chunkier look. And I'll go ahead and um, I'll put some cinnamon in there. What else can we put on that one? Probably put some walnuts in there. Costco cinnamon. Yeah, so let's sprinkle some of that on there. Give it a nice little cinnamon coating. I might even throw a little honey in there. Kind of sweeten up the oatmeal a little bit. This is also a Costco Kirkland brand. Organic raw honey. Alrighty, that'll give us some flavor in the oatmeal. A little bit of salt, honey, cinnamon. Mmm. In a way. Let's give the salmon a little taste test. And the asparagus. Yeah, you can't go wrong with the, um, the wild Alaskan sockeye salmon. This is good stuff. Although you do have bones in here, so be careful. You're watching The Headless Chef on Channel 19. Today we're making for dinner, salmon and asparagus, and seaweed for a snack on the side. 
and we're also making oatmeal for future snacks and meals. The asparagus turned out really perfect. Mmm, nice and tender. Alrighty, well thanks for tuning in today. Um, we're not going to take any calls or anything from any callers. But if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. And perhaps I can address them in my next video. This is the head of Jeff. Signing out. Thanks for, thanks for swinging by. Beep.